Okay, we're down to our last couple days of body work on the Reventon body. I'm at, up on the loft right now. You can get an aerial view of the car. Um, we got the side vent cut out and reshaped, so that'll be true to form. You can see this is our rolling V8 chassis. I'm going to do some exhaust experiments next week to get the right exhaust sound and I'll be posting videos for you to hear some different muffler options. Kept the car an extra week This is kind of a rough design here on the gas filler, but once it's primed, you'll see that it looks pretty close to the real car. It's kind of hard to see it with the wood and some pipes and stuff in there that we had to use to give us the right shape. Um, it's going to look good. The, uh, the piece of wood there was cut to the right size. It's got the sharp angles in there. Uh, you'll see it a lot better with the coat of primer. But that's about three days worth of work. We've got some of the lines of the taillights built in to the car to make it a little easier to build. Um, the more pieces that are built into the body the less things to attach and the easier the car will be to build so those are just the separation arrows and the actual LED arrows will go in between those um, those are just the, the little bump outs um, between the LED arrows and then below it you can see the strips there that were put in um, for the blinker and uh, backup light the exhaust tip Again, rough stage here. There's still some wood and some other things in there that we're using for backers, and then we're going to fiberglass over everything and spend another day doing body work to get the right lines and shape. Everything will look a million times different once it's cleaned up and primed. I just wanted to show anybody who's been following the project uh, what we spent the last week or so working on, and the tail lights, the exhaust tip, and the gas filler, and also reshaping this side vent right here. We had it reshaped, but the the uh, the actual vent itself was closed off, and we cut it out. So when we finish the cars, they'll be cut out and less work for us to do um, when finishing the body after the build had some questions about the V8 rolling chassis and the exhaust options. So far the OBX twin loop muffler is about a hundred dollar eBay part. Um, I think sounds the best but I've got some others we're going to try to get, a, get an idea of what we can make this V8 sound like. I'm going to fire it up right now and Rev it a couple times, give you an idea of what it sounds like. pitch than most 350 V8s. OBX twin loop muffler.
Here are the bat wings. We cut them out of the rear trunk and built the walls around them. That way you don't have to build them each time you build a car. They'll be kind of a one piece ready to go set. And they fit right in the openings of the of the car. Trying to make it as easy to build as possible. You can see we've etched a line, a recessed area all the way around for the 1996 Nissan Maxima windshield to fall right in, drop right in. Shouldn't need a cowl piece or anything across the front that fits so perfectly that it'll be a finished edge of the windshield. Same thing along here across the top. So it just will glue right in and shouldn't need any gaskets or trim pieces or anything to hide edges or trimming the windshield is not necessary. So it saves time and frustration when trying to trim a windshield and nine times out of ten they crack. This will be going in as one piece, no trimming required. The gas filler is going to be built in. It's hard to see it from this perspective, but once the primer's on it, you'll be able to really see the the idea come together. Of course, the wheel well flanges are built in. All the ground effects are built in. The rear diffuser and the exhaust tip are built into the car. Tail light lenses will be built in. And we also put a plate there where the grill mesh will mount. And that way you can just cut out the area in the center and you'll have your uh, border around it. It's always a little extra work you got to do when building grill mesh for these things. You have to figure out how to hide the edge where you cut your mesh to fit in. We can we can just cut out that fiberglass and leave a half inch edge all the way around and then mount the grill mesh right behind that and that edge would be your border around the mesh. Paint that flat black with the mesh and it'll look like it's the actual trim made for the grills. Exhaust tip, we've got some work to do yet on it. We just started working on it today so it looks a little rough block of wood in there so we can build the the rolled edge and then we'll body work it all and make it look right so it it'll look like a separate piece but it'll actually be built in to the fiberglass body and that'll be one less thing you have to attach when building the car and the same with the rear diffuser rear spoiler bumper whatever you want to call it that is built into the car as well looks like a separate piece we cut a nice thick groove in there like the real car but it's built into the body less time when building you'll already have the vent cut out for the ground effects replicates the real car windows are already cut out rear windows cut out everything is turnkey as far as a kit car goes. 